All right, so today's upload is something, gentlemen, that I thought I have already covered. Today's upload is something, gentlemen, that I thought you all have already discovered. How do you exactly, how do you actually wear your cologne? How do you wear, how do you apply, where do you apply your Mighty Perfume? I mean, as easy or as simple this may sound, there are a few things you can keep in mind. There are a few things you must keep in mind to make this bottle of amazingness sound absolutely fantastic on your frame, on your body all the time. So in this easy tutorial on how do you apply your bloody fragrance deagents, let's dive right into it. My name is Mayang Bhattacharya, this is Men's Essentials. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> So two quick things before I get into the video, two quick things before I discuss all about the mighty fragrances. One, if you want to watch this video in Hindi, if you want to watch this video in Hindi, you can check the Hindi link in the description box down below. And in case you want to watch all these perfumes in real life, how do I apply it, where do I apply it, and which one do I wear whenever I'm going out, you can check out my Instagram and my Instagram stories and all the latest posts. I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to miss out on the amazing lifestyle content that I'm posting there on a daily basis. 3-4 videos, 3-4 photos every day. Click it open, check it out and see it by yourself. Now, that being clear, that being said, let's just jump right into it. Alright, so when it comes to fragrance, when it comes to colognes, deagents, there are a few things, there are actually two to three things that every man must always keep in mind. Silage, occasion and the different types of notes, the top notes, base notes and all that good things. Now, we'll start with the basics, so we'll talk about the occasion first. You see, different types of colognes, different types of scents are supposed to be worn at different occasions, at different places. If you're going out to work, if you're going out to college or in your school, there are different fragrances you would wear. It'll not be offensive, it'll not be on anyone's face, it'll keep you looking fresh, it'll keep you smelling fresh and thus, make be the most attractive man, the most attractive gent around. So always, always keep this one thing in mind, no matter wherever you're heading out to, no matter wherever you're going, always wear the appropriate colognes for the appropriate occasion. Gentlemen, there are specific scents and specific fragrances for specific occasions. Please be aware of it, please be mindful about it and please use them in your favor all the time. But once that's done, we'll talk about the silage, the overall longevity, the overall projection of a scent. Not longevity, the overall projection of a scent. You see, fragrances like Aventus, Swaj and Club de Nuit have a stronger projection, have a stronger silage than many other counterparts. I mean, many other fragrances out there. And that's probably one of the reasons these fragrances are so famous and so versatile and so epically chosen every time. I mean, most men, most folks who are wearing these perfumes are specifically choosing these perfumes for this very reason. No, not because they are very long lasting, but because they have a very strong projection because they have very strong silage. When you apply this on your face, not on your face, when you apply this on yourself and when you walk around with something of these sorts, you'll be smelling a whole lot more of the said fragrance from a said particular distance. That's not the case when you talk about perfumes like Jean Paul Gaultier or any other similar fragrances. So do keep this one thing in mind, be aware of this one thing. Your fragrance must have its own specific silage, its own specific projection. You have to be aware of it and you have to wear it accordingly. So once you're aware of that, once you know these basic things, you can apply, you can start applying the colognes accordingly. For example, if I'm applying something like Deo Sauvage with a very strong silage, I'll be applying it a whole lot less and a whole lot more smartly. I'll spray it on my neck because that's one pulse point. I'll put, I can put it on my chest because that's another pulse point and then I can have it on my wrist. Never ever try to mash your wrist together with perfumes. Don't do that. That's one of the worst ways to make your perfume all screwed up. Put it on your wrist if you want and just spray it two different times. Behind your neck is one good place. The front of your neck are very good places because like I said, these are pulse points. They can keep things warm. They can make your scent warm and those have a better silage than you were expecting anywhere else. Now, people often wear colognes and fragrances on their clothes as well. And as a matter of fact, clothes can hold your fragrance. Clothes can hold any fragrance a whole lot longer than your skin. But that does not mean that you only apply the cologne on your goddamn clothes and not your skin. It has to be complemented accordingly. If you're wearing it on your clothes, I'll just recommend you put it on your shoulders so that whenever you're walking around, everyone has a sense of who you are. Everyone has a sense of smell of who you are and thus make things work in your favor. These were the few basics that I would want to share, that I wanted to share on how do you apply perfumes and what are the few basics of perfume and cologne and fragrance and all that. If you want to learn more about different types of notes, then do let me know. There are there is, I mean, that's a whole different topic to talk about, the top notes and base notes and all that things and how do you use different types of notes in different fragrances to make it work in your body odor or in your personality, in your environment and all that good things. I mean, a very interesting topic to talk about, but that's a very in-depth, in-detail video to talk about, so I'll probably have to make a different video on it altogether. So, to wrap it up, to give you a quick recap, the only thing that you should be aware of when you're wearing a 
perfume or when you're wearing a fragrance or a cologne is one figure out how long lasting and what's the silage of this what's the projection of it because you wouldn't want to apply a whole lot of sprays all over what i do and what i would recommend you do is just apply one squirt on your neck either of the sides one squirt on the back of your neck and then on top of your clothing whatever you're wearing two squirts on your individual shoulders if you're going out for parties if you're going out on a club or going out anywhere with your friends well there'll be a whole lot of people a whole lot of smell then and only then you can maybe have two sprays of the same cologne on your neck or on your pulse points one could be on your chest and two could be on the top of your clothing item at your shoulders easy things very basic things i i thought you all knew about it but now you know in case you didn't anyway in case you wanted to make more videos on perfume and on the different types of notes do let me know in the comment section box down below and in case you want to watch a video on this majestic thing that you can probably get for like and 1500 rupees i guess because this is an official clone of this cologne wow that's a tongue twister anyway in case you want to watch all these videos you can do that index that link check it and serve yourself i'll get back to work i'll make more cologne videos i'll see you in the next one just stop stay strong stay stylish my name is mangrasana thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next one cheers a lot more